I always fight to finish, and um, I don't give up, you know, and I always try to seize the opportunity to uh, to get that finish, you know. I, I, you seen the guys, you guys seen the fight. I went forward, I went to have a war. I planned on a war. I knew we're two guys who are not going to lose, and we're both undefeated. And I said, this almost feels like a title fight the way because we both have something very important to lose, and that was like the, uh, the record, you know. And uh, we capitalized on that mistake. We knew that he likes to secure points, and uh, he goes for the takedown. And he went for the takedown the second, but I missed my chance. I said, if this happens again, I'm not gonna miss. And we trained at all camp at the Gracie Academy with my coach, Henry Gracie, where I said, if this guy shoots in, we gotta guillotine this guy, or Anaconda him, or Darcy. And uh, we did that all camp. So my arms got to pump with blood, where I was like, I looked up because of just all the guillotine and stuff I was doing. And the second he shot in that third round, I said, this is it. Wrapped it up, finished it. I wanted to get the takedown, but uh, I just came back from a shoulder surgery. And it was just, it's been on my mind a little bit where I don't want to shoot too much because I don't, you know, like, I want to keep these guys fresh. And uh, the incidents have, that I had before happened during wrestling. So uh, I shot in, but it wasn't, you know, it was just kind of like a half ass shot. But, uh, but yeah, maybe once I get, you know, like my shoulder's a lot more stronger, then I'll be wrestling more. Are they healthy going into the fight? They're healthy going in. I think it's just more like a mental thing, you know, like, uh, this one got into wrestling, this one got into wrestling. Like, uh, forget the wrestling. <laughs> Did I injure my leg? So uh, we knew this guy was going to kick. And I went with some heavy Muay Thai guys. And my leg was already freaking sore from before the fight. It came to the point where you would touch my leg and I was like, oh, like it, would, it hurt too much. And I knew, like coming in this fight, I go, man, this guy's going to kick me and it's going to hurt. And uh, I felt it the most in the third round where I was just jabbing and he uh, he kicked me one time really good right in the spot. Thank God for adrenaline and uh, I just switched the stance very calmly, kept playing softball. Once I felt good, switched it again. But right now once the, uh, the adrenaline fell down, I feel it. Listen, so there was a rumor that I went to the hospital yesterday and uh, not true. What happened though is I went because I'm in my hometown, I went to my house or to, to my friend's house who has a built-in sauna and uh, I used his scale. His scale was off. So I went to sleep thinking I was a certain weight, woke up at a lot heavier weight and I was like, oh shoot. So now they're like, yo, you have two hours, less than two hours to cut X amount of weight. And at first it seemed like I'm not gonna make it. So I went in my room, moved all the furniture, did everything, put the sauna suit, did 10 five minute rounds in the sauna suit to the point where I was just, I gotta make this weight. I need to, I need this fight, I wanna fight. And uh, I got down and like, and the last weigh-in is at 11. You can't wait anything later than that or the fight is canceled. So I got down at 10.50. They're like, you're 146.5. I was like, oh shoot. All that work, now I'm drained. They, they cut that much in a short amount of time. They go, he's not gonna make it. Everyone's like, this guy's not gonna make it. I go, all right, I need, quick, I need a quick thinking. I go, what's the quickest way to lose it? Sprint into the jacuzzi. Threw me in the jacuzzi, butt naked. <laughs> and it was some towels, right? But, uh, and I was like, the guy's like, you have four minutes exactly. Like, everyone's panicking. And I'm panicking a little bit, right? And all of a sudden, the guy's like, 30 seconds left, get him out. They got me out. I ran across the hallway with jet, butt naked, with like uh, towels on and everything, and we're rushing through, and then we get to the back, and I'm like, man, and you can, t when you, obviously long hair, it's in braids right now, but it carries some weight. So I was like, man, I don't know if I'm gonna make it, or I don't know if that was enough time. So I rush in there with town already naked, because I didn't have a chance to put clothes on, because they're like, yo, you have to make this time frame. So they rush us to the back, and I grab the knife, that I have scissors. I gave my coach James Larson the knife. I go, if I don't make the point five, cut the freaking hair off. It has something on it. And uh, I went in there and it went 146.5. And then 146, and I was like, oh yes, I get to keep the Tarzan hair. You know? <laughs> the Tarzan's still there. <laughs> How much weight were you over? 
I'm not going to tell you guys. <laughs> no, can you keep a secret? Can you keep a secret? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can I. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad though, it was bad, it was bad. How bad was that? Really approved. Thank you. I, uh, man, I've been boxing with my coach James Larson for about... I met him when I was 17. We started to train together since I was 18. But this is the first camp where he took me to the craziest boxing gyms. I was afraid. I went to Wildcard Boxing in Hollywood. Then I went to Maywood. And uh, when you train with straight boxers, it's a different game. And then when you spar professional boxers, these guys do not take it easy on us. And it's like, oh yeah, we got an MMA fighter in here. Let's take advantage of this. And uh, so I went in there and I sparred all these boxers. So when I got in there and he wasn't kicking much, I started feeling good. Maybe I kept my hands down a little bit because I, a little style, you know, the, the boxing style. Actually, you covered up really well. Thank you. But, uh, but yeah, it felt good, man. I uh, loved going there and uh, it was fun.